and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG with your host, Strange Rock 94 And I have my thumb on the space bar, but it seems like the car is already intent on wanting to go down this hill. When I mean by hill, I mean by mountain. I guess we're going for it. I'm not going to do anything to this car. I'm just going to let it do whatever it's doing. And... <laughs> At least the mirror made it farther than me. Yeah, I wasn't going to really control the car, but apparently just letting it go, it wrapped itself around the tree. Can I get unstuck? Nope. Alright. This time we're just sending it. I guess going on that side of the mountain is no option. Just go for it, dude. Quit crying. Go, car, go. Go, car, go. Oof. You're fine. Keep going. Man, these trees are like magnets. Okay, well, I think this car's a bust. Let's choose something different. Let's choose this. Wow, no damage. Oh, no, a little bit. <laughs> Just gets wrapped into a tree. Let's try that again. Oh, that tree was fake. What is with these trees in this car? <laughs> I feel like I'm playing horseshoes. Again, and this time, do it right. Impact detected stopping car. I don't think so. Over this car's dead body. <laughs> oh man. Now I'm stuck between two trees. Okay, let's try this car. Somehow I feel it's a little bit more gutless. Sadly, because I actually like this car. Bruh. I don't want to go that way. I guess I don't get a choice. Ringer! <laughs> I mean, it's a really good level of detail. I give it that. It's too bad the map isn't legit. myself from a tree. Come on, you little turbant. You can do it. <laughs> no, this is not the long drive. Ooh. Go for it. Go. Go. Go, car. Don't stop. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Still works. 
Okay, we have a new goal now. We have to make it to the water. Let's see if we can do it. As soon as we get through the fake trees. Okay, I think it might be best to go this way. Bruh. Nope. Time's the charm. No. Don't touch the tree. Third time is not the charm. Okay, let's go this way a little bit. Several days later. Nope. That mountain was fun, but this will be better. Apparently this car doesn't like this terrain. Let me rock out of it like I would if it was snow. There you go. Send it. Go. Go. Man, this is sad. Ugh. <laughs> it's starting to look a lot like pop can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it just looks stupid. Gravity is such a bitch. You know what's really impressive? I still have a tail light that's working. <laughs> oh, I lost. Oh, that's the same wheel. I lost them all a long time ago. Is there an end to this? I feel like a football. going. I think I reinvented the wheel. Ah, oh, look at it go. Some other parts finally catching up to me. Alright, let's try something with a little bit more guts. And I do mean a little bit more. Wow, that's kind of spectacular. <laughs> oh, the engine finally shut off. <laughs> the horn kind of sounds special. Wait, what in the world is orbiting around my car? Is that the engine? Yep, 
That's physics for you. The tire made it ahead of me. Look at it go. Wow. It's always amazing that the horn or the lights can still work after going several hundred kilometers down a mountain. That wheel isn't even attached, is it? It's orbiting too. Wow, I'd say this is a 10 out of 10 mod right here. Okay, let's try further back. Oh wow, look at it go. That's kind of peaceful. I'm just wondering if it's the guy or gal that made this mod that just has this happening. I have another orbiter, and again, it's the engine or the rear axle. I'm not sure this time. Try this area. <laughs> the wheel is already glitching, it hasn't even hit yet. Ouch. Oh, yeah, that is the engine. I didn't think I could fall down the mountain even faster than that. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I feel like I'm a very special helicopter right now. Except I ain't flying. Okay, let's test the best car in the world. A Pontiac Sunfire. The engine's not really connected to anything, is it? It looks good though. I don't recall the the back end of it looking like this though. I can see where they wanted to add a rear differential in the drive shaft, but that's all missing. I'm not sure if this car came in that configuration. Oh well. Ooh. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Ugh. <laughs> he broke the wheel. That was a very minimal impact. That says a lot about the quality of these cars. Oh, it doesn't even have a horn. That sucked. This car's company was so bankrupt it couldn't even afford to send this car down a hole.
Okay, let's try another one of my favorites. Chevelle Super Sport. Well, maybe not Super Sport. That's why it's so graceful. Right before it impacts. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like one of those potato bugs or pill bugs right before they kind of curl up into a ball. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it goes orbiting again. I do want to take this time out to say don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. It helps greatly. <laughs> Get more crazy content like this. Oh, wow. I wonder if it could completely roll up like a bug. This was a beautiful classic car. Now it looks like a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> Not as spectacular as the other ones, I have to say. This one's kind of going slow. But it's not like the Sunfire that got stuck. Alright. Let's try a Plymouth Fury. Supposedly it's supposed to look like that car from the movie Christine. Yeah, I blame the terrain for why these cars can't get that fast. Some already fell off. Okay. I'd also have to say I don't think that's the original sound to any of these Plymouth theories. It kind of sounds more like a subcompact. those tires anyways. <laughs> I'm surprised the engine's still working. Oh wow. Maybe I can get all the way down without it actually stopping. Feel like a football now. <laughs> oh, the engine died. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was funny, though. Just sending a bunch of cars down the mountain just to see exactly what will happen to them. I find it kind of funny. I hope you guys do, too. If you want to see more content like this, though, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.